In this video, we'll talk about one of the more common and problematic symptoms of Hashimoto's hypothyroidism, bloating. If you're one of the millions living with Hashimoto's hypothyroidism, you're likely familiar with the uncomfortable symptom of bloating. Bloating is described as a feeling of fullness, tightness, or swelling in the stomach area. It can cause mild to severe pain and make your stomach appear swollen. Hashimoto's thyroiditis is an autoimmune disease where the immune system attacks your thyroid gland. Hashimoto's usually leads to hypothyroidism, an underactive thyroid that doesn't produce enough hormones. There are three reasons why people with Hashimoto's hypothyroidism often experience bloating. First is slower gut motility. Thyroid hormones regulate gastric motility, the speed at which food moves through your gastrointestinal system. When you don't have enough thyroid hormone, this process slows down. Undigested food and gases can build up and cause bloating. FYI, this slow motility is also what causes constipation, another common symptom of hypothyroidism. Second is small intestinal bacterial overgrowth, or SIBO. Altered gut motility can lead to bacterial overgrowth, known as SIBO, which causes bloating, gas, and other symptoms. Nearly 50% of hypothyroidism patients report having SIBO. Fortunately, it's treatable with antibiotics followed by probiotics. Third is food sensitivities. Food sensitivity or allergies can cause inflammation and slow digestion. This is a particular problem in people who already have slow gut motility. Common sensitivities include gluten and dairy. Now, let's look at some ways to manage bloating with Hashimoto's hypothyroidism. First, when you're hypothyroid, optimal thyroid treatment is essential for your gut motility. You'll want to make sure you're on the correct dosage of thyroid medication by getting regular thyroid testing and dosage adjustments when needed. You'll also want to make lifestyle and dietary changes. It's best to avoid eating too much or too quickly. Don't chew gum. Avoid carbonated drinks and foods with high fructose or sorbitol. And it's best to stop smoking. You should also get more physical activity. You can also customize your diet. Consider an elimination diet to identify your food triggers and sensitivities. The autoimmune protocol AIP diet and low FODMAP diets are particularly helpful for people with Hashimoto's. Some people find it helpful to manage symptoms of bloating with over-the-counter laxatives like Dulcolax or Colace for constipation, and Cymethicon to help reduce gas. Supplements like digestive enzymes, probiotics, and natural remedies like ginger, turmeric, and marshmallow root can also help relieve bloating. Some patients also find that acupuncture can offer relief from bloating. If you have persistent bloating or severe symptoms, it's time to talk to your healthcare provider. This is especially important if you have diarrhea, severe and persistent pain, bloody stools, changes in the frequency or color of stools, loss of appetite, or unintended weight loss. Optimal thyroid care is a good starting point to prevent persistent symptoms like bloating. One crucial part of optimal care is regular monitoring of your thyroid function. Paloma Health's at-home testing kit makes this easy and convenient. Virtual visits with Paloma's knowledgeable practitioners can provide treatment to support your thyroid health and minimize your symptoms. And for personalized dietary advice to help minimize bloating, you can schedule an appointment with a Paloma certified nutritionist. This video has been brought to you by Paloma Health, the nation's leading medical practice dedicated to hypothyroidism care. Learn more at www.palomahealth.com.